In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 1 through to 23a. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian Regiment, a devout man and one who feared God with all his household and who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius, and when he observed him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? So he said to him, Your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. Now send men to Joppa, and send for Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging with Simon, a tanner, a tanner in the, whose house is by the sea. He will tell you what you must do. And the angel who spoke to him had departed. Cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout soldier from among those who waited on him continually. So when he had explained all these things to them, he sent them to Joppa. The next day, as they went on their journey and drew near to the city, Peter went up under the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. Then he became very hungry and wanted to eat. For while he, by they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven open and an object like a great sheet bound at four corners, descending to him and letting down to the earth. In it, all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, birds of the air. And a voice came to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything common or unclean. And a voice spoke to him again the second time. What God has cleansed, you must not call common. This was done three times, and the object was taken up into heaven again. Now while Peter wondered within himself what this vision which he had seen meant, behold, the men whom had been sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate. And they called and asked for Simon, whose surname was Peter, was lodging there. And while Peter thought about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are seeking you. Arise, therefore. Go down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Peter went down to the men who had been sent to him from Cornelius and said, Yes, I am he whom you seek. For what reason have you come? And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, one who fears God, and has good reputation among all the nations of the Jews, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear words from you. Then he invited them in and lodged them. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.